Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be doing food and crops. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to go into item in it and create a new section called food. It's going to be a public static final item, um, which I'm going to call a bowl of rice, a rice bowl. And this is going to equal a new item custom food. We are going to create the class item custom food and put it inside of our dot objects dot items dot food. This is going to extend item food and implement I has model as normal. We are then going to create the constructor with string name, int amount. This is how much, um, how many food things it restores. So each one, each value, equates to half of a food um, slot. So twenty will restore, will restore from nothing to full. And then one more variable called boolean is wolf food. This is saying if you right click on a wolf, will it eat it? So this is going to super off of amount and is wolf food. Make sure you import item food. Then set on localized name to name, set registry name to name, set creative tab to main.tabmod or tutorial and then item in it dot items dot add this then register models again main dot proxy dot register item renderer this zero inventory and that is the item food class done if we hover over item custom food and item in it and add the arguments the name is going to be rice bowl the amount this restores is going to be eight which will be four hunger bars and it is not wolf food and that's food done in our creative tab, we have this thing called bowl of rice. Um, I'm going to go into survival mode, give myself hunger, so I can lower my hunger. Now if I eat this, as you can see it goes up four hunger bars. Now for the crops, firstly we need a seed, which I'm going to have as rice. So public, static, final, item, called rice equals new item rice each seed has to have its own class with rice then it's hunger again so as i'm going to have my rice be a food item as well as a, a seed that you can eat so create class item rice put it in dot objects dot items dot food so obviously it's going to extend out some food again implement I has model and also I plantable. Control shift to input item food, then go into item custom food and copy everything from here into item rice. Click change to constructor and that's all the food stuff done. Then we're going to need to add the unimplanted methods that I plantable gives us called get plant type and get plant. get plant type once the type of plant it is so return enon plant type dot um, crop and then get plant once the actual um, block which we're going to create in a bit so return block in it dot 
rice plant dot get default state and finally there's going to be one more function which is the on item use this is what happens when you right click onto a block so item stack stack equals player dot get held item in hand which is a function here so we're getting the held item which is obviously going to be this item then i block state state is world in dot get block state at the current position the block we're clicking on then if the way it's facing is enum facing dot up and player dot can player edit pause dot offset facing facing and stack then and again state dot get block dot can sustain plant the state world in pause facing this sorry enum facing to up and the final one and and world in dot is air block pause dot up so what is it saying if a, um, it's the block is facing up the player can do something to that block the block can have a plant placed on it so if it's a grass or a dirt block or a, um, a crop block and um, above that block there is an air block then you can place the plant. So we place the plant, world in dot set block state, pause dot up, block in it dot rice plant dot get default state, stack dot shrink one. So we have to have one less seed when we place it down. Return enum action result dot success. Then outside of the, all this, else return enum action result dot fail. And that is all the seed class done. You have to go and repeat um, all of those steps, but the seeds work just like a normal item. So you do exactly the same thing we just did for food. So now obviously we need to create the actual block that we were referring to inside of there. So if you're going to block in it, and create a new block. Public static final block rice plant equals new block rice plant with the name as the parameters. Rice plant. Then create the class, put it inside dot objects dot blocks, and it extends block crops. We're going to need the constructor with string name, set and localize name to name and set registry name to name as well. Then obviously add it to the block in it, item in it, new item block of this and set the registry name to get registry name. Make sure to miss out the creative tab for this one as we don't need a creative tab as it's only something you can place down using the seeds. Then on block activated. This is when the block is right clicked. If world in dot is remote, it will when it isn't remote. If this dot is max age, this is max age function comes from block crops, as there is something called a property integer called age, which with um eight different ver values from zero to seven of how old the crop is. Then world in dot spawn entity. A new entity item world in. Pause dot get X. Pause dot get Y. 
pause.getz and then a new item stack of item in it dot rice and this how many quantity you want to drop I put two then world in dot set block state pause this dot with age zero so it's back to the original and return true and then if that's what another, another happens return false then we're gonna get get seed is item in it dot rice get crop this is what not what, what drops is also item in it dot rice oh we need to return item in it dot rice sorry then get bounding box as the bounding box is different depending I'm just gonna copy this in as it's really 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 long but basically it is an array of, of bounding boxes axis line BB which I call rice which has um, eight different bounding boxes that are all the same except from the height value keeps increasing from 0 0.125, 0 0.25, 0 0.375. This is for the age. When it's growing, the height value increases. Then get to in get bounding box, you return uh, the name of your bounding box array, rice, then open up um, right angle brackets, then two brackets, put integer, then outside of one bracket, state dot get value this dot get age property and then outside of all those brackets dot int value and that will give you the correct bounding box for the age and that is the plant done obviously for the block states create a new block state called rice plant and then there's going to be different age equals zero age equals one age equals two um, and then rice plant zero rice plant one rice plant two and so on then in lang we just need tile dot rice plant dot name equals rice plant In block models there are seven different block models well eight different block models sorry for each stage so it's important that it's parenting off of block crop and then when it says textures it has to say crop here not normal it has to be crop and then this will be TM blocks rice plant zero and for the item model you only need one just called rice plant which parents off of um, parents off of the item rice so the actual seed it parents off that so parent TM item rice and then obviously you need eight different textures which are at different stages of the growth and then once that in and we create run the game then we hold the ground and place the right rice down as we can see here we have stage one if we bone meal it it increases, increases again, and when you right click on it at max age, it drops to rice. And we can get lots of rice. And that is the crop done. So if you have liked this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more videos. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. I'm making a special video for it. Um, you can check out the playlist link down below. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry, and goodbye.